Hello everyone. Welcome to the power of three. Three questions, three songs. Today we have a very special guest. Our guest is Cole Wurstendorp. Welcome, Cole. It's good to have you, you. on set today. Having me. This is season two of The Power of Three, and it's a real privilege to go on this journey with you all. We're just going to get Cole set up, and um, Enrico's going to see if he's fine with your level, so we can have a small chat in the meantime. Um, I've been learning a little bit more about you uh, behind the scenes, and the first thing that kind of struck me, because we've never met before, right? Um, and you've got a quite like calm demeanor. So already my nerves were, you know, put at ease a little bit. So I want to thank you for that. How are you feeling um, being on the show today? I'm feeling good. Um, it's quite an intimate setting. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to just calm my nerves as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And um, I think there's a lot of tasty conversation that's about to be had. Just yes. in speaking to you, there's a a lot of different aspects in your life that um, that I found quite interesting. So you told me about some of your hobbies. Um, what what were we speaking about for the most part? Uh, or what kind of stood out to you? I think the music. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's the most important thing that we were talking about, I think. Yeah. And, and it was quite lengthy as well. Uh -huh. it was kind, it's kind of the uniting factor uh, yes, that brings us here us today. Us here today, exactly. And the listeners on the power of three, yes, right? We're all united definitely. by this this love for, for good music. Yes. So Enrico's just going to let us know once he's happy with the levels. Um, and you said you got into music quite early. What was, what was that background like? Yes, so when I was much younger, uh, my dad having... Um, sung so many years in the church mm -hmm. has inspired me okay to um try singing as a young child and you you would nurture me obviously and and show me the ropes and eventually you know it, it took on me mm -hmm. and as i grew older continued to sing i just uh, grew uh, for the love of this music and, and the ministry mm -hmm. to share the gospel um, in song uh, i think it's such a powerful ministry yeah. for sure and i mean it's led us yeah, to, right, yeah. to this point. So I think now that we're happy with the levels, um, I don't know how familiar you are with the setup on the Power of Three, but we ask you three questions and we want to get to know even more about you. So the first question that I'm going to ask you is, could you give me a 60-second description of yourself? Okay, 60 seconds is a bit long, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm the first born uh, to Danny and Debbie Westendorp. Uh, some people may know them. Um, and then I'm my husband to one wife. Amen. And then a uh, father to three beautiful kids um, um, who keep me busy. Mm -hmm. um, but they're the joy of my life. And um, yes, I just, I'm just the humble man of God, servant of God that uh, enjoys music and sharing the gospel via this ministry. Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Let's hear your first song for today. Of the grace that I found in you and all that you've done through the power of the cross for me. I'll sing of the mercy I found. In you and all that you are, through the fullness of your love for me, all that I am has come from. And the 
love that you've shown that's higher than the heavens and burns in me. All that I am has come. Thank you, Cole. Thank you for reminding us of the faithfulness of the God that we serve. It's such a message of blessed assurance. Yes. Now, the Bible has mm. described God in a plethora of ways. So I want to know from you, in your experience, what is your favorite description of God? Wow. Um, there's so many beautiful descriptions like you have said, but I think the one that resonates with me the most is um, in John 1 verse 29, where um, Jesus is walking towards John to be baptized. Um, and John describes Jesus walking and he says, Behold the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. And I think... Mm. Um, to introduce such a description for the sacrifice um, that was about to be paid and that has been paid for us gives all mankind the opportunity mm. to have uh, eternal life one day. So I think that resonates with me the most as the best description. It's a beautiful message. Wow. Let's hear your second song. Messiah would come, the earth would rejoice, the people start to sing. As they would behold, as scripture foretold, a mighty king of kings. But he came as a child, not like they had planned, not like they planned. Is the lion of Judah, Lamb of God, glorious conqueror, suffering son, lion of Judah, with no Mighty Redeemer 
was meek as a lamb. No elegant robes, no glorious throne, no armies at his side. Could this be the one, a carpenter's son, a man condemned to die? But a lion roared deep inside the lamb, inside this man, lion of Judah, lamb of God, glorious conqueror, suffering son. Lion of Judah With nails in his hands The mighty redeemer Was meek as a lamb Lion of Judah Lamb of God Lord Conqueror, suffering son, Lion of Judah, with nails in his hands, the mighty Redeemer was meek as a What a heartwarming rendition and a beautiful message of that contrast. The, yes. the fact that God is so many things for us. He does so much for us. And I want to segue quickly. Um, you are someone that does a lot for other people as well. You mentioned you have a wife, you have kids. Um, and so I want to do, ask you as someone who's you know, not at that position in life yet. Um, there's a lot that can happen in a year. And I want to know how you've grown as a child of God over the last year? Right. So uh, my experience, um, I think in the past year, I mean, it's never an easy path, you know, as a Christian. Mm. Um, we have beautiful experiences. We have ups and downs. Um, and I found myself in the past, um, in those difficult tri trial times. Yeah. Um, you know, you try and think that you can actually do things by yourself, you know, mm. by your own strength. Mm. Um, and I think I started to, you know, just delve in the word a bit. And I'm reminded in Jeremiah 3.33 where he says, if you call on me, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll answer. Mm -hmm. And I started, you know, just exercising that. And... Um, I think in the past year, I tried to rely more on God's strength um, to get me through situations and just even our family, yeah. you know, and he's come through for the most part, you know. Wow. So I think um, it's something that has, yeah, has been the highlight in the past year, mm -hmm. I think, in terms of growth, yes. Wow, made your faith stronger. Yes, most definitely. So tender, never was love so strong, even in his surrender, his love will carry on, and as his heart was breaking, he was mending life. And as he hung there dying, 
He was giving us life. So when you are tired and empty, when you can't run any longer, He'll take you to the finish. Cause His love is strong. is stronger. Cole, yeah. I want to thank you for joining us on The Power of Three. Thank you for sharing yourself, for sharing your voice with us. And we wish you God's blessings on the road ahead. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, it's been a great experience. I'm glad. I'm glad. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Please catch us again next week. Goodbye. <laughs>